Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be launch makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm here today with a travel video. I wanted to share with you guys today my in-flight travel essentials for an overnight flight. I will be taking a trip with my sister. Hopefully all goes well, we get on the flight and we can get to Italy. We have been planning this trip already for like a little while. It's a little bit nerve wracking because it's our first trip since, you know, the pandemic. It's the first time that we really go overseas, an international flight. I've taken like small trips within the US, but we really haven't ventured to go to Europe. So we're doing a sister trip and I thought that it would be great to share with you guys my in-flight travel essentials for an overnight flight. On this trip, this is the backpack that I will be taking on the actual airplane. For like a long flight, I like to go with a comfy, large backpack like this, just something soft. Usually if I were to travel in the US, I may take like just like a nice big purse or just you know, something nice that I can use basically when I'm on the trip. But I feel like for a flight like this overnight, you do need a couple more things for your in-flight entertainment. And I always feel like a backpack is just like the best to go. This is a backpack from the brand Eagle Creek. This is a brand that makes a lot of those packing cues. It's a great bag. I bought it on ebags.com a long time ago. It also has like matching suitcase, but I think it is great. And this is definitely an essential for me when it comes to traveling on a long flight. We're doing like, with COVID, pretty much there were no flights from Miami to Rome. So we have to do Miami, Atlanta, Atlanta, Rome. So it's gonna be a long trip because we leave here at 11 a.m. Miami to Atlanta, and then we get to Rome the next day, which it's like the flight from Atlanta to Rome is like nine and a half hours. So it's gonna be a long flight, plus a short flight from Miami to Atlanta. So you definitely need to have some very important items with you because once you check in your luggage, I feel like you check in your luggage in Miami, that's it, you don't see it again until you get there. So you need to make sure that you have everything with you on the flight that you need. So I'm just pretty much gonna show you what I consider to be essentials for in the flight, things that I'm gonna use while on the flight. I'm not gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna be taking in my backpack or in my carry-on because I will be taking this and a rolling carry-on. So I'm not really gonna show you that because those aren't really the essentials. I just wanna show you the essentials of the things that I will be using on the plane during the flight or at the airport or whatever, things that are 100% must-haves for me when I travel. So the very first item that I consider unessential on the trip is a water bottle. I used to not take these type of water bottles on the flight. I would always just buy them at the airport, but I found that by the time you're drinking your water on the flight, three or four hours in, your water is already like pretty much warm. So I like to take this. Of course, you have to take it empty because you cannot get through security with liquids, but you can take it empty. And then when you are on your flight or when you're at the airport, you can buy a bottle of water and just switch it from the plastic bottle to this bottle. And that way your water stays nice and cold throughout your entire flight. This is also really good for the vacay because I'm gonna be going to the beach a lot so I can be using this bottle of water when I'm going on little excursions or if you go you know, to the beach, by the pool, you always have nice, cold, fresh water with you. So I have this one. I also have a smaller one that's a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll take the smaller one. I'm not sure which size I'm gonna take, but definitely I wanna take an empty bottle of water on the flight. And then this backpack is the best because you can pretty much put your bottle of water on the side of the backpack right there. This backpack has so many pockets. It has so many pockets in the front, on the inside, the first compartment, and in the big compartment as well. It even has like a little laptop sleeve and just so many different compartments that makes it so nice and comfortable for travel. And this is where I would put my bottle of water. The next item that I really think is an essential is a neck pillow. I always like to carry a neck pillow on the flight. And this one is a nice and comfortable one. It just goes on really nicely over your neck and pretty much you can like sleep, fall asleep like this and it'd be nice and comfortable so that your neck is not just going all over all over the place this is also really good because it has an attachment and you can just attach it to your backpack or to your carry-on i don't actually put it inside the bag so it takes up space i just kind of like attach it to one of the straps in the bag and just leave it hanging outside all over the place so definitely neck pillow very very important for a flight 
I also think it's a really good idea to take some snacks on the flight. Here are some cute little snacks from Costco that I think I'm gonna be taking on my flight this upcoming week. Um, these are California snacking bite-sized salami and provolone cheese snacks. I think they're great. Also, this is a nice little um, you know, individual container of hummus. These, like I said, I got at Costco. You can also take like some crackers with this or something to eat your hummus with. You can make yourself a sandwich. Just something where you can always have something to snack on so you're not like starving on the flight you may or may not like the food something that is just simple something that doesn't smell because you don't want to drive anybody crazy so just something that's a very nice and simple snack that you will enjoy on your long flight next i also like to take a portable charger on the flight this from is from amazon you can charge up to four electronics at once and i also always put the cord on it already so it is ready to go that way i don't have to be looking through my little cord case that i always take on the flight but i usually usually never pull out you know the cord case of all my chargers and all these things those I'm gonna need while I'm on the trip but I don't really need them on the flight except for this one if I need to recharge my phone or my iPad so it's just always a good idea to have one of these I'll go ahead and link it down below it is from Amazon it's a very good one it is a little heavy but I feel like for a long flight you do need a good one and then I always just attach the cord that I am gonna need in this to charge my phone the cord that I use to charge to the outlet is in my bag I'm not gonna need it I'm not gonna use it on the plane but this one I may need of course my cell phone is a definite in-flight essential this is something that I'm gonna be using a lot not only just to get around on the flight to have my all my travel information on here as well also it is what I'm gonna be using if I want to listen to music when I'm on the plane and since I will be using it a lot I do anticipate that I will need to recharge it with the charging station so that is very very important also my reading glasses I think are very important to have on my flight I need to be able to read I have books on my iPad or just anything I may need to use my glasses so it's good to have them handy these are some Ray-Bans that I recently got and I just think that they're a really pretty nude color man they're like dirty and it's like a really pretty nude color it's the nude with the clear type of frame and I love it these I'm gonna use during the whole trip if I need them basically if I read or like after you're looking at your phone for a long time I feel like I need a little bit of help so I like to take those on the flight with me and I like to have them handy of course my iPad this is like a major form of entertainment for me is my iPad I have it in a nice case so that the iPad is nice and protected I have downloaded so many movies on Netflix you can download the movies to your iPad I have some books that I can read I just have so many things I feel like for music I'll use my iPhone even though I do have music here as well but my main music spot is gonna be my iPhone and then this I will be using for like movies and for reading next I'm of course taking my Apple AirPod Pro these are the ones that are noise canceling for the flight so these are really really great you can also charge these with the charger and I also like to take a pair of earphones that actually have the cord just in case something happens to these I always have a backup of earphones also in my bag so I'll take one of those as well just in case always take something to keep yourself warm I will be traveling for sure with like a cardigan on I'll wear a t-shirt a comfy t-shirt a cardigan over it but then I also like to take something like this this is just like a cashmere pashmina which I can use on the flight as a blanket and I can also also get good use out of it on the trip because in the evenings I feel like in certain cities that we're gonna go to it does get a little bit more chilly so this is just really nice to have but definitely something that can be very useful on the flight if you get cold I have some face masks I have these are the n95 face masks I got these in black to wear just to have a couple of these like really good face masks and then I just have like the regular disposable type of face mask in case I want to switch it up on the plane or I get sick of the n95 and I want to go for the regular disposable ones because I feel like they're like a little bit softer on your face but you do have to wear a mask throughout the whole flight except when you're eating or drinking so it's always just nice to have a face mask and after I feel like after a few hours of wearing it I'm gonna want to switch it up and use a fresh one so I am taking some face mask on the flight always take a pack of gum on the plane it's just nice to refresh your breath during a long flight also it's good like when your ears if your ears start getting you know with the pressure of the plane it's always good to chew on some gum it just really it just really like helps out your ears as well but also for the minty freshness of the breath I take some Kleenex in case you need some tissue I think that these are the best because they're very flat 
they don't really take up that much space they look like this i actually got a pack of these on amazon and they're really really good so i always take a nice thing of kleenex of course you need your passport i have my passport in a nice pretty little case this is from henry bendel which no longer exist um, um, and I just really love it so I'm gonna be using my Henry Bendel passport holder inside here I have my vaccination card I have of course my passport so just very important to keep all these documents because you really need them especially you know if you're traveling nowadays you really need to have all your things so that you can get on your flight I also have this little eye mask. Um, one of my brother's friends actually gave me this as a gift. It's like a little Chanel eye mask. So it's good, you know, for when you wanna take a nice little nap on the plane and you wanna sleep so that the light doesn't bug you. It's nice to have a little eye mask. So I always take one of these on the flight, but this is actually the first time that I'm gonna be using this one. And last but not least, I have this little case, which is extremely important for me on flights. This is one of those Ally Glynde makeup cases. This is one of the smaller ones that has a clear window in the pink. I really absolutely love these. I love the small one and I love the bigger one, but I use the smaller one for things that I may use on the flight. So I think it's really important. It's either things that I'll use during the flight or I'll use when I land because as soon as I land we're gonna get picked up and then we have a long drive ahead of us so it's not like we're gonna be going to hotel so you definitely want to have some things to like night to like refresh yourself you know from after having been traveled for like a full day so the things that I have on here are I have a tied to go pen because I think that you know you never know if you're gonna need it here I have some medicine I have some Tylenol and I have some Excedrin in case I get a headache hopefully I won't use it but it's always good and important to have then here I actually have this is not this is actually an Avita um, conditioner little container but here I actually put some hand cream for like if when my hands get very very dry sometimes I get that hand dermatitis and it's like you know cream that I get from the pharmacy and I didn't want to take the whole tube so I just put it in here so I put some cream here in case I have to use it on the flight especially when you're traveling I tend to wash my hands a lot and then they just get very dry with hand sanitizer I also have these little soap sheets these are nice cute little soap sheets like this just in case you go somewhere and there is no soap and you need to wash your hands i always have this in my purse then i have a um, cream blush this is a stilla cream blush in the shade lithium this is just good to have since i'm gonna be you know taking a long drive we'll probably be taking some pictures i do want to refresh my makeup a little bit not too much but i do have a couple makeup items in here that i would want to use when i arrive and cream blush is one of them then i also have a little mini deodorant this is just one that i got it came like as a little gift in my fat fit phone like a sample of the drug cool essentials advanced care deodorant i have a little lysol disinfecting um spray for travel so i'm definitely taking this with me then definitely when i get to my destination i'm gonna want to apply some sunscreen on my face so i'm taking a little sample of sunscreen this is a dr dennis gross lightweight wrinkle defense so when i arrive i will want to put on some sunscreen and then i'm also taking my super goop resetting powder which is also a powder sunscreen because we're gonna do something we're gonna go to pompeii as soon as we arrive on the drive down before we go we're pretty much going to be going to to capri to Positano, to Amalfi, and to Sorrento. So we're gonna drive there from Rome. I'm really not gonna stay in Rome at all, but on the way down, we're gonna stop by Pompeii. We're not gonna be able to go to the hotel and change or anything before. It's just gonna be, you know, as soon as we get there. So I might even take like a shirt to like change my shirt if I wanna refresh my shirt, but I'm definitely gonna wanna use deodorant. I'm also definitely going to want to brush my teeth. So I am also taking some toothbrush a little i mean some toothpaste a little toothbrush and i'm also taking some dental floss so i like to carry that with me in here i am also i also always take some 
these are these alcohol prep pads. It's just always good to have some alcohol with you on the flight or just with you anywhere. I usually have one in my purse all the time. I have some antibacterial hand gel. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is a stress relief eucalyptus spearmint. This is my favorite scent. I have a nail file, a tweezer men nail file. These always come in nice and handy. Sometimes like you like mess up your nail or it breaks a little bit and then the edge gets caught up on so many things and it's just a pain. So it's just always good to have a nail file handy. I also take my eye drops, allergy eye drops. These are the Opcon A Allergy Relief. Always need these. I always have these in my purse, so it wouldn't be no different if I'm going on a flight. Then I also have some, I'm taking a little face wash. Okay, so for skincare, I don't do any skincare on the flight. Like I've seen videos where people do face masks and all that stuff. I don't do any of that stuff. I pretty much leave the house the day that I'm gonna go travel with um, a clean face. I've done my full morning routine. I don't wear any makeup when I go on a flight. So my skin is already prepped. I've seen so many videos and I've read so much that it's just not good to do your skincare on the flight because you're gonna trap all that you know, all that recycled air in your skin. And I just really don't want that. I'd rather just clean my face at home before I leave, do my skincare routine, and my whole face is gonna be nice and clean and prepped throughout my whole flight. But then when I do arrive over there, I would want to wash my face, but I don't wanna take a whole cleanser in here. So I'm just taking a little sample cleanser. This is from Kiehl's. This is a Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I've actually never used it but it was a sample that I had, so I thought it'd be, you know, just convenient to take something like this. You can just have to use it and throw it out. Then I'm also taking one of these um, Peter Thomas Roth. This is a Max Complexion Correction Pads. I will definitely be using that after I wash my face when I land. And then I do have a little sample of a face cream. This is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. So I would apply this, then I would apply the sunscreen that I just shared with you guys. Um, and then, you know, maybe add some powder sunscreen and that's pretty much it. That's what I'll do. I don't really plan on adding much makeup. I do have the cream blush if I want to add a little bit of color. And I also have a gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Luscious Lip Balm in Pinch Me. And then I have the gloss. So that's pretty much all the makeup that I have that I will be probably applying once I land or even at the airport. I have no idea when I feel like after a long flight if I'll want to do it on the plane before I get off or as soon as I land just go in the bathroom, brush my teeth and do all that stuff just to refresh. I even have a little shower sheet. This is from Uni. This is like a large body shower towelette. So if I do want to change like my top or refresh or you know put some under here or just it's like a nice little towelette to refresh yourself if you want to use it on the flight. I also have some wet one antibacterial hand wipes. These are really good. And I just, I have two of these in here. I also throw some in the pockets of my backpack or even in the luggage. In case I don't want to go into here, I can just stick my hand in one of the backpacks, in one of the pockets of the bag or the luggage and pull some of these out. I just throw them in the different bags because they always come nice and handy. I also have a little perfume sample. This is one of my favorite perfumes. Actually, this is the the Hermes Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. This is my favorite one from the Hermes line. Of course, I have my lip balm. This is a Sarah Hap lip slip. I always, I will have one in here and I'll probably have one also in the pocket of my backpack readily available because I am applying lip balm all the time. So this is what I'll be wearing on my lips from the time I leave my house to the time I arrive. Um, this to me is like the essential lip product for me at all times and for sure on the flight. And then I have a little travel size Nivea cream. Oh, this smells so good. This is just so good. It reminds me so much of my grandma. It is just like a great cream. It's something that I can use all over my body. I can also use it on my hands if I don't want to use the medicated cream. And then I can even, if I really need to, and my face is like super dry, I can even use it on my face if I'm feeling like really, really dry. But it's just always good to have this in your little bag. And I also carry a scrunchie and a hair clip in my little baggie as well, just because you never know. I usually go on flights with my hair down. I don't like to have anything on my head, 
for a long flight, especially like also if you're leaning back on the seat, but you never know, you may wanna pick up your hair or pick it up with a scrunchie or a clip. So I always just take both and I kinda just tie it like that together and I just throw it in my bag. If it doesn't fit in the little case, I'll just throw it in the front pocket of my backpack. So always something good to get the hair out of your face. So that is pretty much it. These were my travel essentials for our overnight flight. I'm gonna go ahead and list all the products in the description box down below, just in case you guys wanna check them out. I feel like by the time I actually upload this video I will probably already be on my trip hopefully um, I don't know why I'm just so nervous I just want to make sure that I get on the flight and that I can get there and that the travel you know restrictions don't change I mean there are a few restrictions that I have to abide by like I have to get a COVID test I have to have my vaccination card and I have to fill out a form which I have all that I already have my appointment for the COVID test just to get it right before I leave but you know just like during these travel times I feel like everything is just so a little bit more nervous wracking than normal and I just get a little bit nervous over the changes that could potentially occur so hopefully by the time you guys see this video I am already on my trip and I'm also hoping that I can vlog while I am there so I can share with you guys exactly everything that I do let me know what you guys would like me to include in that vlog because that way I can see your comments and um you know make sure that I vlog the things that you guys really want to check out of course I'm going to be filming all the places that I'm going to go with my sister I think they're so beautiful um so i definitely want to share that with you guys but if there's anything else let me know in the comments down below i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go and i want to say thank you so much for watching be lounge makeup and i'll talk to you very very soon bye